Begin with your patient seated and forearm supinated and supported on a flat surface. Assess their available wrist flexion into radial deviation. Palpate the flexor carpi radialis tendon at the base of the second metacarpal. You can also assess their wrist flexion into ulnar deviation and palpate the flexor carpi ulnaris instead, just proximal to the pisiform bone. For a radially deviated wrist, apply resistance at the bases of the first and second metacarpals in the direction of wrist extension and ulnar deviation. For an ulnarly deviated wrist, apply resistance at the fifth metacarpal in the direction of wrist extension and radial deviation. The gravity eliminated positions have small differences between them. For radial deviation, the patient is seated with their forearm in a neutral and supported position on a flat surface. Stabilize along the radial side of the forearm and palpate the flexor carpi radialis tendon. For ulnar deviation, the patient is also seated as before with their forearm in the same position. However, now their hand is off the edge of a table to allow for movement to occur. Stabilize the top of the forearm and palpate the flexor carpi ulnaris tendon.